A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end, her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the God shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out, and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock, in his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the, the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song, Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us hear your kindness, and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us hear your kindness, and grant us your salvation. <coughs> Second reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay his promise, as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be, conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames, and the elements melted by fire? But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 
as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And this what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday to all of us. And good morning to, to all who are with us online for our Sunday Mass in our parish. To all our parishioners and to all our benefactors and friends outside of the parish. How are you today? Excellent. Are you happy? We're happy. Yes. yes. Are, you yes. are you happy? So we, we are all happy. Today we reflect on the second Sunday of Advent. We reflect on the theme the same in the first reading prophet Isaiah, the gospel, prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. And Advent is the coming of the Lord, our preparation for the coming of the Lord. And we reflect on last Sunday, the coming and on our side, waiting. And St. Augustine said, Waiting expands, waiting for the Lord expands our hearts, expands our hearts to make room for the Lord. And he said, I am afraid that one day time will come that when the Lord comes, I could not notice him in there, in front of me. And so this is our, our starting point of our reflection, to prepare the way of the Lord. Here in the season of Advent, first is like John the Baptist. He went to the desert. So first preparation for us in, in our waiting for the Lord, to prepare for the way of the Lord, is to be silent. Amen? Amen. Or be silent. <laughs> or be silent. Or we are, there are many noises that surround us. Facebook, YouTube, at least we are using Facebook and YouTube in our masses. There are many noises all around us. So first, we are invited in our celebration today to go into the desert inside our hearts, to experience that desert in our hearts, to have that silence. St. Augustine said, I am afraid the time will come. One day, God is there, but I could not notice because there is no silence. And so we pray for, for that our challenge in our daily lives, 
to have that silence. So sometimes you are not comfortable with silence. Are you comfortable with silence? Oh, it's very silent here. I don't want to be here. <laughs> it's very silent at home. I, will, I want to go out. I got bored. I don't, I don't care about COVID. I want to go out. <laughs> Because we're not comfortable in silence, but deep in the silence of our hearts, the Lord is there. Amen. Amen. So we have, we must have that in our hearts. The space for silence, for the Lord to speak, to prepare the way of the Lord, just as John the Baptist did. And what, what he had, simple things. He fed them locusts, the wild honey. Very simple things. What is there? What's available? And so, second reflection for us in our celebration today to prepare the way for the Lord is to see what is the most important and valuable things in our lives. And this season of pandemic really rearranges our thoughts and minds and hearts. What is valuable? Our relationship with God, our relationship with families, our relationship with each other. Right? That's what's really valuable. And what's enough? Back to the basic. And this is the challenge for us today to, to prepare the way for the Lord, we ask only what's the value, what's, what's the valuable thing in our daily lives? What's enough? Because if we ask for more, then that is, that is not what God wants us. Because God is enough for us. Amen. Amen. Third preparation for us in our to prepare the way of the Lord makes faith his fast. The second Sunday of Advent. John the Baptist appeared in the desert proclaiming a baptism of repentance for forgiveness. People of the whole Judea country and all inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him. We're going out to him. And they confess their sins, acknowledge their sins. So this is also our challenge and invitation. That as we prepare the way for the Lord, we must prepare also our hearts. Acknowledge our sins. Repentance. Asking for forgiveness. Reconciliation. And sometimes in our lives, it's okay, it's okay for us, but for him, I could not forgive him. I don't care. I could not forgive. I will not talk to him. I will not talk to my in-laws. <laughs> I don't care. But I love God. I go to Mass every day. I pray every day, but I will not talk to my in-laws. I will not talk to my friend. That is not the way to prepare the way of the Lord. Reconciliation acknowledges our sins. Amen. Amen. Are you there? Yes. <laughs> Lastly, I usually, I usually have my three points. But I will come exception today. I have the fourth point. <laughs> Maybe this is the first time I have fourth point of reflection. I usually have three points during Sundays. Fourth point. The John the Baptist said, One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. The fourth point. To prepare the way of the Lord is humility. Humility. And this is connected with 
asking for forgiveness, asking for reconciliation. Because if we, we, are, we are not humble enough, there's no way we have reconciliation. There's no way we ask for forgiveness. That's why every time there's, I have confession, I would always say, continue to confess always. This is a very good spiritual practice for humanity to acknowledge your shortcomings and weaknesses. Because if we do not confess, we are proud enough. And so, as we continue to prepare the way of the Lord, we, we ask the strength of the Holy Spirit. We ask the gift, virtue of humility. And then we can prepare the way. Amen.